very much, Mark. We're here at the Marker Hotel in Dublin, and our guest this morning on Breakfast uh, with is a Dublin-born actress who took the West End by storm and has been touring in Celtic Women for the last couple of years, but is returning to Dublin to star in Cats here at the Borgosh Energy Theatre in August, and it's Susan McFadden. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. Now, returning to Dublin after being away for such a long time and uh, returning in a very big part. <laughs> yeah, just a bit, no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Grisabella. And for people don't know that don't know Cat, Grisabella has the biggest song in the show. There's, it's probably the biggest song in musical history. Yeah, probably. Well, memory. Yeah, memory. Yeah. Well, it was sang by Lane Page, so it's a bit of pressure to kind of follow in her footsteps, really. Yeah. And it made her a real star, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that made her definitely cracked her into the show business world. Anyway. So is that a pressure on you to come back to play? Because so, I was just saying, no way is Susan McFadden playing that part because it, it's sort of an old. She's the sort of wiser, older cat who comes in and does the big song about the memory she had. But it's such a demanding role. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I can't wait. Well, I mean, I've always sort of played the kind of girl next door, like the legally blonde kind of part. So it's nice to kind of do something completely different and get your teeth into exactly. And it, you won't get your claws you into exactly. <laughs> you don't. Even, we don't even kind of recognise because you're so covered in makeup and hair and wigs and, and costumes so it's it's kind of nice to really get to kind of hide in the character like that. Now I'm looking through your notes last night you've done so much it's like show after show after show what age did you start? Four. Four? <laughs> well I went to Billy Barry when I was four and um, yeah I think my first kind of professional job was when I was about uh, I think I was about seven and I did a, a, a TV show where I actually was on uh, an Elvis special on RTE and then my first stage professional stage show was when I was 11 and I did Annie in the yeah, Olympia. Yeah of course you did Annie yeah, in the that Olympia and that was a big deal at that time because yeah. it was it was a really high profile show. Yeah it was actually and it got, kept getting extended and extended and I was uh, 11 and I had my 12th birthday in it and we were only meant to go up until like January mid-January or something and we, we stayed up until the end of March. So was there at any stage in your life, was there any other career options or was it always just were you a showbiz baby and always going to be in this business no matter what happened? Not really. I, it was sort of something that I kind of fell into because my mum sort of sent me to Billy Barry and it was like a hobby, you know, mm. to, to get me off the streets, she used yeah. to say, you know. And um, I just, yeah, kind of ended up just doing it like and, and kind of always thought, oh, I'll, I'll go to college and I'll do something and, and then just kept working. So I was like, well, I'll keep working while I can, like, and that sort of... 15 years later like <laughs> still doing it and you're going touch wood um, then of course you you went to London you decided I'm gonna try and make the break and you went over and then the reality shows were starting then yeah. and like the big reality shows to get people onto onto West End shows and Greece was the word came along yeah well I got a call from my agent actually and he was like look I think you should go for this and um, he actually filled out the form sent it off and all and I was like right I really don't want to do that but he was like look this is the way it is you know this is how all the big shows are being cast and it's kind of if you can't beat them join them like just 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 go for it and I thought well I'll go and try and get a bit of maybe um you know sort of profile out of it or just even if I get to the final or even if I just get seen on the telly or something didn't think I'd win it like and you did <laughs> yeah so you went on to play Sandy then and I mean literally so you come from Dublin, you go over and your first big gig is winning a big reality TV show and you're the star of a West End show. I mean, pressure or not? Yeah, it was huge pressure. Like, I think looking back, I, I think at the time you just go along with it. It's look, not until like kind of now when I look back, I go, oh my God, I don't know how I actually did that. But it was funny then at the time, you know, I always wanted to get to the West End stage and it was great then when I did. But I kind of was like, it's like being in the Gaiety. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, the, all the stages really, it's the same thing performing in the Gaiety or performing in the West End. You're still on stage in a theatre and it's, you know. How long did you go on to play Sandy for then? I did it for a year. Yeah, a whole year. And then you went on like other big shows then followed on Legally Blonde. I mean, that's another massive big show. Yeah, that was great actually. I did that for two years because we, we kind of were the original cast. So we opened it up and we kind of put the whole thing together, kind of workshopped it and put it all together. So that was a huge deal and it was great fun and there was such hype around it at the time. And, and then I went on, I started off playing Serena, which was kind of her sidekick kind of cheerleader friend and then I ended up getting um, the lead role, to yeah. the lead yeah and I did that for a while so that was great to do the two parts in the one show and it was just great fun yeah I mean and then it's such a big move then to Celtic Women because like you're singing dancing on the West End and doing all these shows and then Celtic Women it's it's very different oh completely well I was so scared actually um going into Celtic Women because I've always played characters and I've always hidden behind the character so I was going out on stage and I was doing all these you know shows and stuff as 
Susan McFadden as me. And I was so scared. I had to go out and, and my biggest fear was going out and talking because you had to kind of maybe talk now and again, introduce some of the numbers and just have a bit of rapport with the audience. And I was like, you're going to have to write something down and tell me exactly what to say because I wasn't good at that at all. Like, But it's been a real learning curve and actually very enjoyable to kind of now just go out and sing and, and kind of have a, that kind of contact with the audience as myself. And literally touring all over the world with it. Yeah, all, I mean, yeah, my passport is nearly full now of stamps in two years. Like, it's fantastic. It's been a great... Love it, love it. Did you ever think of following Brian into the pop career at all? I mean, because you have such a great voice and you have a great look and he was there, or was he saying, steer away from it, it's a, it's a dodgy bit. <laughs> no, it's just sort of, um, I kind of just end up going, this is what I've always loved to do, acting. And I think as well, I'm, I don't write songs, I don't play an instrument, unfortunately. And maybe I don't really see the point if you don't do that. You know, I think that's sort of what it's all about. But no, I, I've always wanted to act. I've always just wanted to be on the stage. So tell us, give us a bit of goss. The wedding was it fantastic with Brian and Vogue. <laughs> We've seen the pictures, but we want some inside goss now that we have you here this morning. Well, from what I can remember, <laughs> yeah, it was a great day. It was lovely. It rained, unfortunately. We were in Italy and uh, it did rain a little bit, but we had a great time. It was a fantastic. Vogue is great, isn't she's she? She's amazing, yeah. Okay. Both based in London now. Aren't yep, you? in London, yeah. I've just moved out of there and they've just moved in. <laughs> <laughs> you've moved down. You've, so, is London like, would you ever consider moving home or is London now your base? Or, well, you don't have a base really if you're touring around uh, the world. Well, actually, we've just, uh, I've been living in London eight years and we've just moved now to Cheshire, which is up the north of England. Um, it's kind of a halfway point for London and Dublin, so it's working out a bit better for us. Um, yeah, because essentially now being in Catholic Woman, I am just all over the place. So we can kind of live anywhere. So, we have just bought a house up there. So, um, yeah, I, I, I would like to move home to Ireland, but it's. It's hard, you know, like when you do what you do and it, you know, there's not a lot of work really here for, for me for what I do. So, so is like when Mammy from giving you like and the family, are they must be so proud and like to sort of start you at like four and to see the career blossom the way it is? Well, I think I do give my mum a few sleepless nights because obviously it's not a very steady career. You know, you go from job and then you kind of go, when's the next one coming up? And it's, it can be quite stressful, you know. But she'd um, never sort of say, oh, would you get a job in a bank or in a shop or something? <laughs> she used to, <laughs> yeah. but sure, no like one... the typical Irish mummy. Sure, it's hard for most of us nowadays to get a job anyway yeah. with, with everything going on. So I think, um, yeah, I think it's with, 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 with what's going on sort of in the world at the moment. I think it's, uh, we're all nearly in the same boat anyway. So, yeah, no, I think she, she used to kind of be like that. You know, when I was sort of maybe leaving school, it was like, maybe go and do a nice course for yourself. And, <laughs> and a secretarial <laughs> course. <or something. laughs> I could just see you there behind, the, behind your uh, laptop. I mean, so literally... Literally, um, then Cats coming. Now, Cats is one of the longest running shows ever. I mean, everybody knows it. So it's coming in August 21st here. So I say all the family are going to be out in force to see it that night. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I'm sure they will. I'd be a bit nervous now. But yeah, I think they'll all, um, they'll all be coming to see the show. Okay, well, we're all looking forward to seeing it. I said it is. Uh, and uh, Grizabella, the song Memory. And if you want to see it performed here, it's the Borgash Energy Theatre starting on August 21st, uh, 21st and running for three weeks. Susan, lovely to talk to you this morning. Great to see you back in Dublin. And we look forward to seeing you and Cats. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks. Thanks. Back to the studio.